Buenas noches a todos. St. Mary South, thank you for hosting the Redeemed Team, the right choice tonight. Brothers and sisters, we are here tonight not only to educate you on the present state of affairs on Antigua and Barbuda and presenting a better option, but also to endorse and support Brother Cartwright Marshall on his bid to represent you in the halls of, of Parliament as the next Member of Parliament for St. Mary's South. In Brother Cartwright, you will experience a representative with a passion to do right by the people of St. Mary's South. You will find a representative who has the desire, the will, the vision, and is ready to work tirelessly. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> you will find a representative who has the desire, the will, the vision, and is ready to work tirelessly to bring about positive change in St. Mary's South. Let me hear the horns on them. We need to hear the horns on them. Let's go. Brother Cartwright Marshall is the right choice for St. Mary's South. If you believe that, let me hear the horns on them. Residents of St. Mary's South, you are not alone in the problems that you are facing. The lack of proper drains, the lack of proper roads, the lack of community development centers, the underdeveloped communities, the lack of recreational facilities are the same challenges we are experiencing in St. John's World South. Two days ago, I was in Golden Grove New Extension. The lack of representation, the lack of advocacy was evident by the condition of the area. The stagnant green water around residents' homes is a testimony to the failure of the pre this present administration. I witnessed that after a little rain, the area gets so bad, vehicles cannot access the roads, leaving homeowners the task of walking in muddy water, sometimes getting stuck, falling down, hurting themselves, damaging themselves. That is wickedness. That is evil. St. John's Road South. Do you want a representative who will advocate and fight for you to see to the development of Golden Grove, New Extension, and Creekside? Then vote for Gladys Potter, the right choice for St. John's Rural South. Brothers and sisters, every constituency in Antigua and Barbuda should have functioning community development center. The burden of not having an area where our students can go to to get assistance with homework. The burden of not of single parents. The burden single parents carry of not having a crutch for their children so they can pursue employment or further their education. The lack of a senior the lack of a center for our seniors to go to. I can't see the, this with my, my mic. The lack of a center for seniors to go to where they can continue to be productive, even sharing their skills. The lack of a help desk where anyone in need of advice has fostered my vision for at least two community centers in St. John's Road South. I will work tirelessly alongside community groups and residents to establish functioning community centers, starting with the ISO at the back of the Golden Grove Primary School. That is why Gladys Potter is the right choice for St. John's Rural South. Brothers and sisters, a good leader seeks to know the resources, especially the human resources available in St. John's In St. John's Rural South, we are not short on talented, skilled, trained, learned, and knowledgeable people. We have doctors, lawyers, accountants, architects, chefs, welders, mechanics, technicians, artists, stylists, engineers, agro-processors, farmers, fisher folks, yes, me hear you, and more. It is the responsibility of the representative and the administration to create an environment where the people can realize their full potential, can lead in their area of expertise. 
but instead we have an administration that is busy at taking care of themselves. St. John's Russo, do you want a representative who will be your voice in Parliament, advocating for whatever concerns you, petitioning for an environment where small businesses not only strive but soar? Then vote for Gladys Potter, the right choice for St. John's Rural South. Brothers and sisters, I mentioned it before, and I must mention it again. When you have a Minister of Government with the responsibility of sports, assuring the baseball community of a plot of land to play their sport, then turn around and without any consultation, use the said land to raise chickens. That is wrong. That is unethical. Elmanos y elmanas. Quieren un representante que los respete y luche por sus derechos. Entonces, vota por Gladys Potter. <laughs> My senior citizens, I feel your pain. I know your suffering. It is unconscionable what this administration is putting you through in these your golden years. The BM talks about ambitious plans to fund pension throughout 2022. My pensioners, we have heard it before. Now guess what? January 2021, you suffered late payment. February 2021, you suffered late payment. May, April, right through to December, you suffered late payment. Miss Samuel, I heard your cry when you did not see the way to pay your electricity. Mrs. Roberts, not only have you haven't you received your pension on time? But to date, you haven't received what is due to you from your late husband. Pensioners, do you want a representative who will work, advocate, and fight to see that you get your pension on time? Do you want a representative who will consider and respect you? Then vote for Gladys Potter, the right choice for St. John's Rural South. Brothers and sisters, action speaks louder than words. Social transformation received a passing glance in the budget. The, me they mention, the mention of social programs to include Grace, Board of Guardians, Happy, PDV Carib, and Uniform Grants, all of which was introduced by the United Progressive Party, is now being watered down by the Labour Party. I have... Her, I have heard recounts of citizens in need who once were receiving a stipend from Board of Guardian, not receiving a cent in over six months. I've tried to get assistance from Grace for seniors and shut-ins who are really in need to hear that the program is understaffed and underfinanced. The resources are not available to assist. I, that's what they told me. Then the present administration talks about caring. Action speaks louder than your disrespectful, insulting words. Do you want social programs that are effective and beneficial to you and not pie in the sky? Then vote for Gladys Potter, the right choice for St. John's Rural South. Leadership matters. Leadership matters. St. John's Rural South, do you want to change for better? Then vote for Gladys Potter. St. John's Russo, do you want a representative who will be accessible to you, who will consult with you on plans and programs for the constituency and report back to you? Then vote for Gladys Potter. St. John's Russo, have no fear. Gladys Potter is here. Antigua and Barbuda, have no fear. The Redeem team is here. And by the grace of God, we shall redeem. Restore, revive Antigua and Barbuda into a beacon of light on the globe. God bless Antigua and Barbuda. God bless us all. Love you, St. John's and Rural South. Love you, Antigua and Barbuda. When the wicked govern, the people mourn and groan. But when the righteous govern, the people rejoice. Rejoicing has been a long time coming, Antigua and Barbuda. UPP is the right choice. UPPSL election corrector. UPPSL election corrector. UPP is the right choice. If you know you, baby, is the right choice, blow your hand!